It's Christmas time again. What's the one thing that everybody thinks about at Christmas time? That's right, bottle openers. Bottle openers are great stocking stuffers. You can use up any of your scrap wood that you have. And I'm going to be making a special bottle opener that may or may not put me in the hospital, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. Now the whole purpose of a bottle opener is to remove the bottle caps. Typically a bottle cap is just over an inch in diameter and one quarter inch in height. You can use any uh, type of wood that you want. Here I've got a bunch of scrap wood. I even got one with some uh, birch uh, bark still on it. Uh, I glued four square pieces together to make uh, one long piece. Uh, typically I like it to be five to six inches long, uh, three quarters of an inch thick by however wide you want to go. I'm cutting this piece to about one inch wide. I'm going to freehand draw this to make it a little more ergonomic. And now I'll cut it out of the bandsaw. Ease over the edges a bit with a one eighth inch round over bit. And now I'm going to give this a quick sanding. I'm going to take a shiny nail and I'm going to bend it 90 degrees, about half an inch from the head. And now I'm going to drill a hole for the nail to go into. You could glue the nail in, but it's not really necessary. You can put it in whatever orientation you want. I like it this way. It just handles better. And the bottle cap fits right underneath to open off the bottle. Well, there it is. Super fast, super easy. A uh, small scrap piece of wood and a nail, but we can make it a little better. I have a bunch of these rare earth magnets come in different sizes and shapes. And uh, what I want to do is I want to put one under here to hold the bottle cap and maybe another one on the side so you can attach it to the side of a fridge. And I'm going to use uh, one of these small little disc magnets. I'm mixing up a little bit of epoxy in order to glue the magnets in the side and the bottom. Even though there's nothing wrong with this bottle opener, it is a kind of a crude model. It belongs in the cottage, a toolbox, a tackle box, whatever you want. But you want something with a little more class, nothing beats this one. This is my most popular one. This is the one that I give out to all my good little friends. Uh, this one is solid oak. It is uh, well shaped for the hand and let me show you a few of its features. This one has two pan head screws. It can either go on the bottle at the front and you lift up or you can hook it onto the back and push down. On the back of it you have a bottle cap but this isn't just a bottle cap. There is a magnet underneath here and the bottle cap is not glued on. The magnet is glued inside. This way whoever you're giving it to you can take their favorite beer, take the cap off of it and simply put it in. And now it will hang on the side of the fridge and it will be personalized for anybody you give it to. And now, I know what you've all been waiting for. That special bottle opener that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This one I've never built before. It's going to be for my nephew, Christopher. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. So why don't you watch as I build it and see if you can figure out what it is and how it's going to work. Perfect.
going to glue in a brass rod into the hole I just drilled to act as reinforcement. Well here it is. I put a brass pin at the end to reinforce the wood uh, to hook onto the bottle cap. So let's try it out. Hey, works great. Hmm, I wonder what else I could use this for. Nah. Well there you have it. A simple quick opener, a little more of a classy opener, and of course the destroyer as I like to call it that I'm going to give to my nephew. I think he's going to like this. He's going to open up many bottles with this I think. So thank you very much and if you really like my videos I would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button at the bottom. It would help me out a lot and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.